All right, so today I'm going to be showing a little bit on how to hook up your Sav, or Sav, Savvaton controller uh, to your computer and how to program it. Um, had a couple people asking about this. Sold my one of my bikes that had a Savvaton controller and just kind of wanted to show people how to do this. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but um, first thing you got to do is you got to make sure that you get your computer with the program on it. You know, you can usually go and find that online pretty easily. Um, if not, I mean, you can always message me and I can try and send you the file for it or at least the link to download it. Next thing you're going to need is you're going to need this little cord here, the USB cord. So this piece is actually going to go towards your computer. The bigger end goes towards the computer. So just think more electronics, bigger. So plug that in. Should be fine. Should work just fine there. Uh, you might have to install some drivers. I think I might have had to do that uh, when I first got it. Sorry, getting this guy entangled here so that it'll reach. Plus, I had a bee flying around my freaking head. So that's awesome. Um, and this is just a temporary little setup I have here with this bike. It's a temporary battery and everything. But once I got that plugged in, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be on, I don't think. Um, you come to the computer here. You come over to communications, and you've picked the comm. And so the comm is going to be dependent upon which USB port that you're using. So I have a USB port here that I know is number six. So if you don't know which one it is, you can always just say, you know, let's say COM4, and it says config, and it says, oh, it didn't work. So you can go to number five, say config, and it says, oh, it doesn't work. But I know this one is number six. So when I go to number six, hey, configure, boom, works. Uh, you start getting the little flashing lights there, and then all of a sudden it's saying, you know, it's starting running up, flux weakening is disabled. I don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit cold. I'm shaking a little bit. Uh, holding the camera here. Um, but then you go into set, and that brings up all your functions that you can do here. So, in particular, I was going to show the guy about my bike how to increase things here. So... Uh, max DC current. Oh my gosh, I only had it at 200. I thought I had it a little bit higher. Um, cool. That means the bike's got a lot more power. That means I was running at less than 50% of what it can actually do. That's cool. Um, bike's a lot of fun right now. Uh, eventually I'm going to bump this 200 amps up to, um, 350. Also, as you can see, it's only at 63 volts. Um, 63 64 volts it's going to eventually be a max of 92 volts so it should have about 40 horsepower when it's all said and done right now it's running at about like i don't know 16 17 horsepower and it's it's a lot of fun to that and that's faster than the bike originally was with a gas motor in it um but anywho yeah you can go in here you can set uh the motor when you're first doing it you can set speeds if you have one of those three switch things um, I have no limit on mine um, because I just don't care to put a limit on it. Um, and this is where you save your features. If you change anything, you need to hit store parameter. You need to switch it to hit yes, and you have to hit OK. I like to tap it a few times just to make sure everything's you know saving correctly. Um, if your motor's running backwards, this motor direction, you just change it. It's usually mine came with zero and it was running backwards, so I switched it to one, hit OK, and saved it. That fixed it running backwards. Uh, throttle, this is stuff you can kind of mess around with. This is max voltage uh, that your throttle will give, and, you, and that's kind of specific to your throttle. I know I have the Magada throttle, and so it runs at 5 volts max. Um, I was thinking about downing this a little bit to see if I, just to make sure that I was getting everything perfect. Uh, or not perfect, but that I was getting full power, full throttle response on it, because I think sometimes the Sabaton controller doesn't accept up to 5 volts. Um, so I'm going to try this out, see if that doesn't help me to get a little bit more, um, if, it, if it's not reaching full RPM. So if I switch that, maybe that'll work. Uh, Mid-throttle voltage, I'm also going to drop a little bit. Seems like I don't quite have enough uh I got too much play and too much travel on the lower end of my throttle when I am when I'm riding it doesn't ramp up fast enough so it kind of hits a part where it starts to ramp really fast and I want to smooth that out a little bit so if I drop the mid voltage down a little bit uh, throttle phase yeah it should be fine um, minimal 
uh, voltage. Yeah, it's all good. But anywho, um, these are just settings that you can play around with. Uh, DC volt limit. So actually, I'm at 63. So um, lack volt is at 58. Yeah, it should actually be around 54. So I'm going to change that too because this battery right here that I'm using is only 16s. So it's not that great. So I'll tap OK a few times. But yeah. Any questions you have on this? Uh, you know, I'm I'm pretty good about responding to anybody who messages me on my channel. Um, it's a lot of fun though. I'll give this guy a little bit of a, of a test run now that I've changed some of these settings. Always be safe and be careful. Sometimes if you mess up a setting it can it can make your can make your uh, bike or whatever you're using it can make a jump and I have a video on my channel of it of it doing that to me and it went full throttle all of a sudden and luckily I was quick enough to let it off but the front wheel popped up and it scared the crap out of me. So always be safe and be careful uh, wear your gear. Be, and uh, have fun, of course.